I've always thought it'd be a lot of fun to put somebody in my car and see if they could drive it. That somebody, I decided to be my great friend, James Allen. Why? Based on his enthusiasm for the sport. We need two things. Secondly, he has to go to a driving school. Firstly, he's got to go and see a mutual friend of ours, Nigel Mansell. Nigel, the first thing that really worries me is the boost, the turbo. What advice can you give me about that? <laughs> <laughs> You're worried about the boost. Well, the first thing you've got to do is relax. Right? Right, okay. I mean, it's, it's all pensed up. I mean, it's tense. Here's a test for you. Mm. Might be a good commentator. I'm not so sure about driving now. <laughs> Which do you think is the brake pedal? The one on the left? No, the one. No! <laughs> <laughs> the one on the left. One, the one on the middle. Yeah. Yeah, make sure test it. Yeah. They'll probably need warming up as well because yeah. they're the big cast iron brakes. Right. The clutch is obviously a racing clutch. Yeah. Right. So it's going to be very fierce. Right. It's either going to be in or out. So if you really try to feather it too much, unless you've got enough revs on, Right, you're going to stall it. But here's something to make you feel very comfortable and very happy. Make sure you're in the right gear. <laughs> because when they pushed me out the pitch to go, I let the clutch out and I went backwards. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a match! I had it in reverse. <laughs> so it happens to the best of us, but, okay. but I didn't stall it, right? right. I still went forward. Yeah. But those, those are the first things. Now, the other thing is we've got to get him in shape now. So if you sit yourself down there. Right. Again, to wish I hadn't come there. Yeah, arms <laughs> around here. Right. And we'll see. Hang on a minute. They don't do anything, but we haven't got much weight on there yet. Let go. Let go of it. Right, now. Now, <coughs> now we'll see. All right, there you go. Okay, now you've got to do 14 of these. <laughs> what do you mean? No, hang on, you haven't done one yet. <laughs> He's trying to kill me. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. You'll be driving the car, but you might not be going quick. I cannot live another day without air conditioning. Says tomorrow's gonna be hotter. Hotter? Like yesterday. Yesterday? Yesterday you said you'd call Sears. I'll call today. You call now. I'll call now. Now's the time to save on Sears installed central air conditioning. Get 0% finance charge, no billing, and no payments until August with the Sears Charge Home Improvement Plan. Call now for a free in-home estimate on a Kenmore air conditioning system. State-of-the-art engineering means greater energy efficiency. A new Kenmore could save 10 to 44% on your annual cooling costs. In time, even pay for itself. Sears also offers fast emergency installation, a five-year warranty on parts and labor, plus our satisfaction guarantee. And you know Sears will be there to back it up. Get 0% finance charge, no billing, no payments until August. Offer ends May 31st, so call now and save with Sears. So what's the paper say about tomorrow? Another scorcher. Cool. Homestead, there's some walls to hit. Something I was very conscious of the first time that Mark took me around in the car, showing me some of the lines. I mean, the name of the game is just to be smooth. Yeah. Smooth inputs. Right. Um, and just you know, take it easy at first. Yeah. You know where we were at Silverstone, you yeah. know your basics. Just break in a straight line to start with and start to downshift smoothly. Yeah. Just be progressive with the throttle pedal, be progressive right. with braking, input on the steering. We'll just speed it up a little bit now and give you some sort of idea. So down, just smooth into the apex. You just want to start to bring the car into the middle of the road and just apply the brakes and just turn in. Yeah? yeah. Let the car flow out. Again, be smooth. Apex point. And then start to squeeze on the power. Just let the car use the road. Yeah. Use all Make the, the, the car do the work. Yeah. Don't be scared of it, but keep off the grass. You don't want to be on that. That's, that doesn't have any grip. 300, 200, 100. Start to break it at 300. You'll get the, right. you'll get the feel for what speed you're achieving and, and where you're stopping. I'm using the curb just to be prominent for you to give you an idea of where you should be apexing. You don't want me to ride the curb? Keep off of them because there's not really that much grip on them. Yeah. You know, it's not just applying the throttle where you're going to get the car to be upset. It's actually when you come off the throttle pedal as well, you're going to produce that upset. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah? Starting to feel a bit nervous now. If you get in trouble, this little lane here. Yeah, pit, pit lane. lane. Exit. 
Well, I've only ever seen them from the other side of the wall. Your car you away. See it from this side of the wall. What a beautiful racetrack. Absolutely beautiful. And very fast even in a road car. What's it going to be like in this thing? A few butterflies in the stomach at this point. Obviously, there's a lot of things go through your mind. I mean, no experience whatsoever to get into a car which has got 850 horsepower is really very daunting. You've seen them do it on television a million times for races and everything, but boy, when, it, when it's you, you're doing it yourself. You don't have to feel edgy. Really do. How do you feel? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a bit hot. I'll give you a little mop down. Oh, thank there, you very much, Mark. Yeah? Yeah. Hope right. you've got a bigger one of those for later. Stick your hand up. <laughs> Not too bad. No, Not too rock, bad. Fighter pilot stuff. Yeah, you'll be okay. Any last words of advice, then? Just go out and enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, now you complete racing driver. Rock and roll. All right. This is where I forget everything I've learned. <laughs> it's a shame they haven't got one of those heartbeat counters on because I reckon it's pretty high right now. And when you start up, Put off the clutch, yeah? yeah? Just then use the clutch to pull away, then back on the dead pedal. Yeah. Until you come back into the pit lane. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. All right. And don't ride it. Don't ride it. Yeah. Otherwise you have to answer to the mechanics. Yeah. Pretty frightening looking bunch as well. <laughs> it's real hot, isn't it? Boy, it's hot. It really is. You can't see much in these mirrors, can you? You don't need to worry about the mirrors. There's nobody else out there with you. It's hot. Just uh, use the radio and just transmit to see whether we can hear you. One, two. One, two. Okay, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Encouraging start. He stalled the first time, but that's a natural uh, situation. Even me and many others as professional drivers do that on a regular occurrence. Great for lunch? Yeah. Man, I don't hear any screaming or crying over the radio, so I must be doing okay. I had a few problems with the shift because I hadn't quite figured out with the sequential shift that you don't use the clutch at all. So it's all power on, foot hard down on the throttle and just pulling back through the gears and they're really stiff. You have to really jerk the thing. Doing a pretty good job. And spun out, yeah. I haven't even given it that much welly yet. You haven't done anything yeah, yet. Done. But when it goes really quick, I tell you, it's hard to just kind of see fast. everything. Yeah, there's, there's, you're probably just at like five or six thousand RPM. You've still got another eight to go. <laughs> really? Yeah. You look all right. You look good out there. Yeah. As I told you, you're looking more and more like a race driver. <laughs> <laughs> Orlando. Oh, it's a divine, a vacation of a lifetime A sight to see for everyone Smiles on the show, it can never outgrow it Orlando 
They've been in captivity a long time. Okay. Hey, what's on your screen? QuickBooks accounting software from the makers of Quicken. Yeah, I really don't have time to learn new software. If you can write a check, you can use QuickBooks. Answer a few questions and it tailors itself to your business. Create invoices like these. It has accounts payable, accounts receivable, payroll and inventory, and over 60 customizable reports that put you in control. I'm going to try it. Nothing to lose. Call 1-800-344-8300. After running for the uh, few laps at the beginning, he came in. He took a few moments to think about what had gone on. And then it was like looking at a veteran. Now, the thing that I haven't really got the hang of is downshifting. I've no idea where I am when I'm downshifting. And of course, you've got to remember what gear you're in, because if you're in fifth gear and you want to go down to third, you've only got to bang it down two times. But if you're in sixth gear and you don't know where you are, you thought you were in fifth, again, you've got all kinds of problems. You go through the gear, the corner in the wrong gear and anything can happen. Now I've figured out all the upshift and downshift situations. I feel much more, uh, I can concentrate on actually driving it. Let's see how it gets on this time. Second time I wanted to use all the boost and I wanted to use all the revs. understeered. I just got that wheel on the edge of the curve, picked up a couple of stones. The whole, that was all. Yeah. Okay. It, what number's that in the book? Excuse number 54 or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's already got the racing driver's book of excuses. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> So much fun! <laughs> oh. oh, that was one run too many, you know. Now I feel like I could go even faster. <laughs> and you could just see him out there. Visually, he was faster, and audibly, you could hear the engine working harder. And shifting, like these corners here, mm -hmm. um, between these two here. Like I was up shifting, short shifting, and then back again. And back again. Yeah. Yeah. They're using all the revs on the engine and the gear, and then absolutely, yeah. yeah. Just, just getting the feel for it. Yeah. yeah. I'm used to talking about cars and the, and the way they handle and their performance in a technical way. I wanted to hear from him his emotions, you know, what he felt about the pure speed of the car, the the physical side, the mental stress. Great car. Oh, That'd brilliant. Thank you so much. Yeah. You did a good job. You didn't spin off. No. Nope. When you drive the car, you're so busy concentrating on the line, going through the corners, getting faster and faster, using all that the car has to offer. The grip, the acceleration, the braking potential. You haven't really got time too much for the emotion. And I found that 10, 15, 20 minutes afterwards, more and more the emotion of the experience came out. Yeah, when I'm going to 10 miles an hour, 159. 159? Yeah. yeah. And you got a 13.2 RPM. Yeah. So you definitely got it up above the revenue. My hands began to shake more and more in the time after I got out of the car, as all that I'd done began to pour back through my mind, the speed, the sheer exhilarating speed of burning along the straight. 160 miles an hour, turning into those corners, pulling those G's. A really sensational experience. It's been absolutely wonderful. I can't thank you enough. There's so much more respect for what you guys do. I mean, I've just been pootling around. I felt like I was getting up to my limits, and my limits are nowhere near what yours are. He's shown me that uh, there's an explanation to what I do in a very different way. 
and he understands a bit more the dangers and the risk. But he also understands the great pleasure what me and uh, all my colleagues around me get in driving a race car every other weekend. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, I really you. enjoyed that. Yep, that was really cool. Glad you had fun. Yeah, glad you didn't crash. Wonderful. Yeah, I bet you're glad I didn't crash. <laughs> I think he can walk away with his head held up high and feel proud of what he's achieved. Certainly something which is going to be a, an experience which is going to stick in his mind for a very long time. You're doing fine. It sounds like I'm delivering a baby. <laughs> I think I was going to the toilet very quickly. All I really need now is a girl with an umbrella standing over me. <laughs> you get that? <laughs>